Alright, so I want to show you my Android app that controls my computer's keyboard and mouse functionality. Uh, made possible with a Bluetooth modem wired to an Arduino. And that Arduino is connected to the computer with a USB cable. So a quick look at the app here. You can see there's a left and right click. Uh, plus and minus button for the sensitivity of the mouse movement. I'll explain that more in a minute. And then text field here that you can type into. And what I've done here is open up Notepad with font size fairly large so you, hopefully you can see. I'm going to go ahead and type hello in here. And you'll watch as I type on the Android phone in real time it will show up on my computer's notepad. Okay, so there we go. It's virtually lag free. And I was tapping each letter individually, but as I commonly do, I'll use the the swipe feature, the swipe keyboard. And I have that working as well, so let me just type world with swipe. And I was a little sloppy, so I'll choose. My hand might have been in the way there. Let me backspace. See, as every time I hit backspace, it deletes a letter. Alright, here we go. Okay, so I just changed my uh, desktop wallpaper to a solid white for a little bit more contrast on the cursor. Um, so as for the mouse functionality, there's this bottom half of the app works just like a uh, trackpad for a laptop. So as you slide your finger across, it will uh, move the cursor in a certain direction. So let me show you. I'll move my thumb to the left. Swipe a little bit. To the right. Go up a few times. Go down. Right. Left. Up. Down. So you see it's pretty responsive. Um, that's about it. Uh, Actually, as the as you change the uh, sensitivity with the plus and minus buttons, that'll change how fast or slow the cursor moves. So let me hit minus three times, um, just to show you a big difference. As I slide my thumb now, really sensitive. Um, actually, I'm not so sensitive. Um, moves very slowly rather and this could be uh, of use if you need to select something uh, much smaller uh, if you're jumping around maybe from the top to the bottom of the screen you might want to hit plus a few times and now as I scroll as I slide my finger up and down you can see how quickly I can move the cursor so, and it does detect a difference between if I just slide my thumb like a little bit, and let me dumb down the sensitivity. As I slide my finger just a little bit down, you can see it moves a little bit. But if I do a longer drag, you can see it goes further. So right now it it picks up the distance traveled but just not the speed of the swipe that's controlled with the sensitivity but that could be a future enhancement if you're viewing this video directly on YouTube instead of my tutorial on instructables.com here's the link if you'd like to know how to build this um, this project for yourself I have a full step-by-step -step guide at this link